It's been quite a while since we've heard or seen anything new for Volition's current project, Agents of Mayhem. Sure, there's been a few pieces of concept art posted on the AOM's Twitter page, but other than that, this game's been under the radar. However, after some leaked images from a Deep Silver conference in San Francisco last week, we now also finally have a new trailer. Not only does it give us AOM's release date, but it also reveals all the agents in the game. Now let's pick apart this trailer and find out anything else we can. So straight off the bat, we're shown off one of the new agents, Oni. It appears that he's wearing a lower half of a samurai mask and a samurai glove. It's possible that Oni has ties to the Ronin since they have a samurai heritage, but it's too early to tell. Also, Oni seems to use a silenced pistol. It's easier to see it later in the trailer. Here's another of the new agents, Red Card. Here we get a look at what's likely the agent's headquarters. As of now, it's not known if the HQ is an actual roaming location like a crib or something similar to the Crackdown's HQ where only the garage is enterable. Next, we see a new female agent, Brad Doc. She appears to be some type of army sergeant. This might be another section of the agent's HQ. If so, this means we can indeed roam the base. Here we finally get the official reveal of Yeti, and it also appears that the rumors are true that he is, in fact, Oleg. From the CGI trailer, we already knew that Ultor was going to play a big part in the game. Maybe this is some type of gadget room where you get upgrades for your gear and purchase abilities from Gremlin. This R&D room is likely another location where you get upgrades. Here we see another new agent, Shahrazad. Obviously she's a ninja and equipped with throwing stars. And here's yet another new agent, Daisy. She is apparently a roller derby player and packs a minigun. From this collection of moves, it appears that taunts and compliments may be coming back. Now we get a look at another new agent, Joel. I believe she's some type of mechanic. It'll make more sense later in the trailer. And here we see the last new agent, Kingpin. If he looks familiar, that's because he is in fact Pierce Washington. It's been confirmed on social media and he does have the same voice actor. Diving into cars appears to be back, or it's possible this only happens when you call on your agency vehicle. Here we get a better look at Joel. She appears to have brown suspenders on, and her silhouette on the AOM website shows she has pockets for an assortment of tools. Since the last time we've seen gameplay, it looks like a lot of the Legion enemies have been remolded and new enemy classes have been added. It looks like Kingpin's special ability is a boombox that makes enemies dance. Rama here seems to have a new purple outfit. Here's a new enemy type that's probably a lot stronger than your typical Legion soldier. Here's another shot of an agent diving into a vehicle. It looks like each agent also has a special taunt they perform when they do this. The trailer basically ends with Hardtack driving through a building. If you pause it just before he hits the glass, there appears to be an image of a scientist. This is likely a character that will be revealed at a later date. And so there you have it, this game will be coming out August 15th and I am freaking psyched. Well anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time.